Secret number two, no really flat surfaces. Let's look at this example. On this, we have uh, three ice cream sandwiches and some M&Ms. Between this edge and this edge, here, you can see the lines are already imperfect. But here, you see it's straight. So there's some discontinuity between here and here. And then this here too, all this uh, flat uh, shadow. Because the shadow catcher is totally flat. On this shadow, to introduce uh, imperfection, we make the shadow catcher not flat. So you can have something like this. Even though this mesh is flat, the edge is flat, here it has some imperfections. For example, this going in, this bulge out, this in, here, and this whole part bulge out. So you, it is a more natural and more uh, hand painted feel to it. So to compare, this is perfect, imperfect, perfect, imperfect. Now for let's see the real mesh. Okay, this model right here, the bot <coughs> the bottom surface, the shadow catcher, is actually has a lot of faces, which actually I intentionally add in to show you what not to do on the shadow catcher. Do not add to a uh, mesh too dense. Uh, like this, which uh, do not serve its purpose. But this uh, this surface is not totally flat, as you can see. Like this, it's not totally flat. The edges are not totally flat, and this create that illusion of not perfect line. Okay, it bulge out a bit, in a bit, in a bit like here. Okay, on layer two. Can see because this is only one surface like this, so it catches the shadow perfectly, reflects on here to here. Let's dissect this one down to something simpler. Okay, here we have two identical mesh, uh, one is already applied, the imperfection on the surface another is not applied to we will do the imperfection on this part there are two methods on this there are there are two methods one is the shortcut way for simple shadow catcher another is uh, when you have more complex model that want to catch a uh, not so flat shadow okay now for the easy part easy method the short method you go to subdivide special menu subdivide you subdivide it enough times then you add some fractal for example point 0.2 and you already almost done you see the edges are not flat there are some thickness differences here so you can have uh, that imperfect shadow catcher and then you just smooth shade it or using the longer method uh, this longer method when you for you to use when you want uh, specific faces to have that uh, imperfection and not everything okay it's, you still start with subdivision you still do it 10 times you don't do the fractal part here then you exclude outer edges yeah then you go to randomize see it pops up and down quite big you do it to normal so it only going that direction then you this one you lower it to 0 0.0 maybe 0 0.01 let's see still too big 0 0.5 okay you can now you can see it better and then like this what you now we can see there's uh, flat faces like this so we smooth shade it okay 
yeah, we still get the same result only that the outer lines are really straight right now okay you can see it. the shadow catcher has not really flat surfaces uh, the edges of the shadow not really flat so if you there's the one method here which is you uh, you use the long method which you can select edges or you just subdivide then add the fractal noise into it or on the this one you subdivide then uh, random vertices on the selected faces only so you can have still keep the uh, straight edges here okay, to summarize add more faces but not too many so do not do the do not add faces too many as uh, similar to the ice cream sandwich example and then you randomize the faces position a bit either using the short method or the long method depends on the complexity of your mesh i think that's it for the second secret if you add the first secret to the second secret you already have a very convincing npr